Hello YouTube, this is Money Phoenix of the VSD Power Team, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> Anyways guys, it's been a while since I did one of these, you know, actual computer work, I know I've been working on the gaming, but, you know, I kind of had to handle the business side of this whole channel now, because, uh, well, we're partnered now, so we have some great benefits, and um, it's not the first time that we've been working on a partner channel that was Game Dexterity, that was probably the main one, then VSD Power until an issue came up. We were going to get partnered on the channel, I got contract offers, but at the end, things came up, didn't work out. We had to move to my old channel, but here we are, partnered. I'm doing the full managing, so this is not going to go away, guys. We're here to stay. So, but I've been thinking, some of you haven't even seen some uh, benefits that partners get. I know with the whole YouTube transaction that um, you get some partnered benefits like you got before, like thumbnails, but I want to show you the whole thing that we uh, as partners get. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, first thing is some of the more obvious things. First of all, you get the banner. I mean, it's probably the most obvious thing that's come out. Um, what else do you get? It's pretty much everything here on this side, just on the channel, you get the banner. Um, go into our tabs. You get the live broadcaster. Um, I think you might get that as well with, the, um, with just being a regular user. But that's the main one. You get the channel banner. You can enter the image code. I don't have any right now because uh, it's kind of a, a simple background. I'm, I'm working on getting another one developed. I'm working with a graphics design artist on that one. It's basically on that side. What really gets technical is the actual... Uh, let me pause that. What actually gets technical is the... Um, what should I call it? The video upload site. First things first, if you notice, you see these C's all around here. This is, is this is because the video is claimed. Now, what does claimed mean? Well, our network that we're currently partnered with, full screen, um, they have a CMS or content management system. What that allows them to do is their CMS is connected to YouTube. So uh, that's what makes them a network, their CMS. CMS basically uh, lets them claim all the videos from um, all the different kinds of uh, channels that are on their network. So say me, uh, that, uh, I forgot her name, is the lady that does the... Every time with Cantasia. Like what I was saying, um, there's a lady that does the uh, dubstep with the violin. She does the cool violin stuff. She's also with full screen. You know, people like that. What full screen does is they claim all the videos as their own and it ends them to their CMS. Now, by adding them to their CMS, they can uh, they have access to uh, content IDs. The, the content IDs is the stuff that gets matched with. Like if you upload a copywritten song or something like that, that's what catches it. So by uploading to their CMS, they could uh, do things. So for example, every video on their CMS will get ads on it. And that's what our, our cuts come in. Um, that's from the ads of our videos. Um, it, it goes into a lot more detail. I'm only touching on it right now. Uh, basically, they could uh, say what happens to these videos. But in layman's terms, um, our videos are getting uh, their ads put in and it's getting paid to full screen, which in turn pays us. And they can also protect our content. So say someone else uploads my video, they can either take it down automatically or put uh, ads on it, which in turn pays me. That's how uh, claiming goes. I mean, if you're not a partner by a network, you would get the monetization if you have it. But in order to monetize, uh, you really have to be doing like your own thing, like vlogging and stuff like that. It's really hard to monetize anything else. Like even software tutorials, it's pretty hard. Gaming, it's pretty hard to monetize it because typically you don't have specific explicit rights. But a network will give you the rights. Um, so, uh, let's show you some of the, uh, details for the claimed notes. Let's, uh, do, 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 why not? Let's just use this video right here, right here. Um, here are some of the options that, uh, you'll see when you're partnered, you can add a custom thumbnail. Um, just simply just clicking it and then, uh you know, finding what you need and stuff like that. And then this is where all the fancy stuff comes in, specifically claiming options. This is something you will not get unless you're a part of a network. If you're just a regular person who wants to monetize your videos, you'll have some, uh, but here's the main, here's the main things that you get, uh, you know, to claim the video, you can claim it. If you just want the audio visual, which is the video itself and the audio, the actual audio itself, and then the video itself. Our usage policy to, uh, to what we want to happen to the video. This is on our side. We can have it limited to only people in the U.S. could watch it. 
Um, you know, there'll be no ads on it, but we'll still get the statistics from all the other con- from everything it's viewed on. Just have it on the United States and Canada. Um, block it in everywhere, so this video will not be played anywhere. I can monetize it in all countries, which is what I have right now. This is the default, and Warner Chappelle, which I personally do not know. I'll research it later. But as of right now, I don't know what it is, and typically, it's self-explanatory. If you don't know what it is, it's probably not useful for you. So I have monetized in all countries. Then I have the ads I, I want to happen. You could have the overlay stuff, which is just the little banner you get here of ads. Uh, the true view, that's the thing that gives you a choice. And, you know, it's kind of rarely happens, but sometimes when you watch a video with an ad, it'll give you a, speci- it'll give you a choice to see which one of these ads you want to see. Then a standard in-stream is just the ads that... um play before the video that lets you skip it and this one just gives the option to have the 30 seconds you know the, the total length i just i just have that so you know advertisers could do it uh, then this right here the syndication this is um how would i say this this is what uh makes youtube decide where the video goes somewhat specifically what it does is give you two options it lets you make sure this video can be played anywhere or it could only be played on monetized platforms. Now, monetized platforms is what YouTube would say is, monetized platforms are defined as platforms where we serve equivalent in-stream ads. An example is the YouTube Android app. Now, if you guys have Android, uh, you'll know that when you uh, watch a video on the uh, on YouTube on the phone, you will still get the ads that go before the video and you can skip it. This is also on the iPhone as well. So by clicking on this, uh, the videos will still be available on that specific uh, device. So sometimes I have it. Typically, I don't have it everywhere because, um, you know, everyone gets a chance to watch the tutorials. You never know. But some people, you know, if you're getting really low CPMs or cost per million, not million, my bad, a thousand, uh, it's typically because you're getting a lot of uh, unmonetizable views. Um, when that just means that um, wherever the person is using it, what they're using it with, it can't play ads on it. Um, so, um, you know, you could just have this on. So whenever the, someone's watching it that can't be displayed ads on, it will not let them watch the video. Like this was the old mobile stuff. Not anymore. You, the mobile devices now can actually play the ads. So, uh, sometimes I have it on, sometimes I have it off. Usually I have it set as everywhere, but, uh, guys, remember you, those of you that are using Adblock plus sure. You may be getting off a, you may be getting a, you know, skipping a 30 second ad or something, but in the end that hurts me, not only me, but. All the other kinds of uh, content creators here. So, you know, if you can, you know, just disable the Adblock Plus software when you're on the YouTube because it supports, you know, content creators like me. Because uh, I I have big expectations for uh, Money Finish Productions and VSD Power and how we're going to do this. Uh, we have big goals. Uh, for example, we want to be the number one tutorial maker for co- anything computer related. Um, and that alone is going to take some work. It's going to be some production time needed. Um, upgrades are going to be needed to uh, both uh, me and Versatile's uh, equipment and stuff. And we're going to need some of that revenue. So, guys, you know, if you're watching this, please disable the Adblock Plus software. Because in the end, it just harms us if you're using it. And if you're harming us, you're harming the kinds of content we can make. Which, in turn, gives you crappy tutorials. And we're all about professionalism, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to depend on this or anything. I mean, it's like a little side... Uh, income for the channel i have a, i have an actual day job which is why i can't be pushing content like every day crazy and so is versatile we're both busy men but you know we try to push out the content when we can uh and that's basically the some of the stuff you get here um the standard stuff here also distribution options is another one um if you didn't know uh, when your you when your video gets embedded on another website it's, the revenue that's made on it, it's going to be less because simply advertisers uh, don't want that really targeted. They still put some money to it, but not a lot. So um, if that's something that you have an issue with, you could always uh, you know just to sale embedding. I personally don't care. If someone invents it on the website, great. You have my permission to embed it on your website. Just don't rip it off, okay? Because turn uh, embedding, it helps you and it helps us. So, you know, I could really care less if you embed it. You know, just um, don't abuse it, I guess. Live events. Yes, I want to leave this page. Live events. Any regular person is not going to be able to get YouTube live streaming. I even hear some actual YouTube partners don't even have it. Uh, when we were still in the gaming 30 days, we didn't have it yet. 
Uh, but luckily, our partnership with Full Screen has provided me with uh, live streaming access on YouTube. And this is the page I get. You get the basic info, say, uh, I'm, I'm going to call this test. Oop, yeah, test for YouTube. Yeah, whatever. Tags, uh, tests, let's see. Five o'clock, why not? Public, no, I want this on private because I really don't want people seeing it because this is not going to be a real one. Category, I don't know. Uh, how to and style. That sounds good, right, guys? Time zone, yes, my time zone. I agree with the terms and conditions. Read it if you wish, guys. I mean, what's the harm that could happen, right? Which just redirects there. I guess it's one of those pop-up ones. Yep, one of the pop-up ones. Event settings, this is what you uh, want to do. Recording basically means that um, after the video is recorded, you, um, I mean, how should I say this? After you finish your live stream, YouTube will automatically take that recording of the live stream and just re-upload it itself to YouTube. So uh, in the end, you get the, you know, it's not, so you don't only get the um, the live stream. It's also on your account so other people can see it. Like Woody's Gamer Tag, that's what he does with Painkiller already. He does it as a live stream and it just automatically uploads. Promotions um, in video programming. I mean, if you ever noticed, sometimes uh, when you're watching a video, say the last 10, 20 seconds, these uh, annotations pop up automatically, usually with one video and then uh, a logo. What this option does with live streaming is, is that um, what it will do is that a pop up that has a video, instead of going to the video you selected, it's going to go to the live stream page saying that, oh, we're streaming this right now. Click me. Something like that. You know what I mean? Claiming options, same thing. You can, I can claim the video, audio, visual, monetize in all countries, you know, all that jazz. Advanced settings, same thing, guys, like, like I said. Uh, um, should I create it? Why not? Let's create it. It's not like it's going to hurt me or anything. Created, uh, whatever. Wirecast for YouTube. Um, those of you that use Xplit and want to uh, use it, just use the stream name and the primary server. Doesn't matter because it's not going to be needed. So I don't care if you see that. I'll still most likely blur it though, however. Save. Go to the live control room. And then uh, start streaming. It's as simple as that. Once you start stream, uh, before you start streaming, actually, go into your client that you're going to be streaming with, either XSplit, Wirecast, whichever. Start streaming there. Make sure you, all your settings are good. And then hit streaming here on the YouTube. This is what this button right here. This is going to is going to be doing the majority of the work, just to start the streaming and to end it. If you end it on your client side program, it's not going to end the actual live stream on YouTube itself. If you want to end the live stream on YouTube, you're going to have to click that button. Broadcast alert, for example, say uh, you get delayed or something, you canceled it. Uh, you know, um, just hit the message. All the people are going to get it that are actually on it. No one's going to get it because um, it's private. So uh, let's see, event manager, because I'm not going to actually be streaming it. Let's delete that thing. Actions, delete. Yes, we're going to delete it. It's going to make me uh, wait. Yes, delete. All right, we're good. Playlist, this is something everyone gets. Not really interesting, but it's really helpful. If you're a big YouTuber and make a lot of content, please, please sort it all through um, playlists. Doesn't only help you, it helps everyone else. Cause, say uh, you make a series or something, and someone only wants to watch that, they can just go straight to the playlist and they'll watch all of those videos. Shows. This is something only YouTube, only uh, partners get. Some reg some partners don't have it. I do. Thank you, full screen. Basically, lets you make like a. This is something for how would I say this? Um, say like um official content, for lack of a better term, like an actual show. That's what it is, basically, a show with series and stuff, uh, languages. I can set all the stuff up, just like an actual show. I have the graphics up for what I want to call it. As you could tell, um, if I restart this, see that little message in the beginning, just like an actual TV show? That's what I get as well. Uh, you get all this uh, stuff, so it's pretty cool. A lot of Machinima does with their shows, they do it with this, uh, you know, custom graphics, all that stuff. Seasons, just like an actual show. Uh, by the way, I will be working on the contracts mode uh, show again. 
history, you know, just it's just history on the YouTubes. It doesn't really matter. Um, search terms. Watch later. All this extra stuff you guys get. Uh, channel settings, you know, everything's good here. Nothing's bad. So basically, guys, that's a little uh, taste of what you get as a YouTube partner because most of you guys haven't actually seen the technical aspects. I know sometimes when YouTubers actually show you their uh, channel and stuff, you see things and you want to uh, ask like, ooh, can I see that? Because I don't have that. I'm not a big partner. But here you go, guys. Here's a little taste of what happens uh, behind the scenes as a YouTube partner. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, uh, the comment sections, the comment sections right below. You know, this video You're probably scrolling down, trying to see if there's anything. Most likely, if you see it early, there's not going to be anything. But you know, whatever. Uh, same thing. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I'm not going to force you to do it. Turn off AdBlock Plus. You know that stuff. I'm not going to force you to do anything. But you know, guys, whatever you think this video is, please do it for us. Give us a like. This has been Money in Phoenix from the Money in Phoenix Productions, and goodbye, guys. See you later.